how to advertise your business on Facebook step by step. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with advertisement on Facebook because for any business, it's very essential to reach out to your potential customers, build new connections and new leads. And Facebook is a great platform to do so. It is still one of the largest social media platforms out there. So how can you expand on Facebook? Well, the first thing you need to do is build a Facebook page if you don't have one already. I already have a Facebook page so I can get started with Facebook ads. However, if you don't have a Facebook page, it's really pivotal that you do create one for your business regardless of whichever category your business falls in. Once you've created your page, simply open up your page and on the left panel you have page management tools. Now, instead of going into the ad center from here, I just like to click on the Meta Business Suite. Now, the Meta Business Suite on Facebook allows us to see all our potential, you know, all our potential for our business all together, and it just helps you in managing everything that you have. So, as you guys can see, I've opened up the Meta Business Suite for my Facebook page, and you can actually open this up for your other accounts as well. Now, in your Meta Business Suite, you have your management of your marketing content now advertising doesn't always just mean that you are advertising with ads you might have a lot of content lined up so you can easily manage everything and you guys will see your recent ads every kind of information that you might want regarding your own page can be found here now to get started with facebook advertising you can click on ads on the left panel over here once you do that, you can click on create ad. And once you click on create ad, you have a few different options. So what is your goal for a ad? Because for any kind of product or service that you are advertising, you have a end goal. One might be to get more leads. One might be to get started with automated ads. Some people might just want visitors to their website. Maybe you want to boost your Facebook content. Maybe you want to get more likes on your page, get more messages, get more calls. Now for us, I just want to build more leads because I want my business's name to be out there. I just want more customers to know about my business because they don't have an idea about our business. So that is our goal. You will see after you choose one goal, they will ask you, you know, what results would you like from this ad? Now, for us, it's going to be to grow our customer base. After that, please create a form to be used with this ad. This is displayed when potential customers interact with your ad. Now, in your ad creative, you are going to choose how your ad is going to look. This is going to be on the right side. This is what our current ad looks like. We are obviously going to customize this. Now we can click on use the post and use one of our pre-existing posts on Facebook and run that as an ad. Now for this, let's say for our ad creative, I might want to use a post like this one. And you will see, you know, this is just a very basic, you know, preview. I definitely can choose whichever, you know, item or post that I want. Below that, we have a sign up form. So I'm going to click on create form and I'm going to just add the form name, which is going to be contact form. And then I am going to have the basic email address and name, and I don't want any other information. Then we have a short answer question. I'm not going to put any of that in. I'm going to keep it as simple as possible. So I'm just going to ask for their name and email address if they want to contact our business. Now, I don't like this ad creative, so I'm going to edit this and I'm going to click on select media. And I'm going to use one of the images that we have. So I think I'm going to go with the coffee one. And I'm going to remove the bur. I'm going to add the burger one as a second image. And now let's take a look at our ad preview. You guys can see we have two over here. After that, I am going to change the description, which might be the best coffee shop in town. We're serving coffee. From 7 a.m. till 10 p.m. with all the trendy uh, with mash burgers and more. 
like this. Now, you don't want your value proposition to be too large. This is just something that is a lead magnet. This is not going to be something that is going to be a very specific offering because I am just generating more leads in this. So I'm going to provide this as a lead magnet. Below that, we have our sign up label, our, the basic contact form. After that, you will see the estimated daily results, the potential leads, and the payment summary. Now, if you scroll down, you have the Advantage Creative where you can leverage Facebook's data to automatically deliver different ad creative variations, which will improve the performance of your ad. So this basically means if I'm advertising the same coffee shop, Maybe to women, I want to advertise it with content that is oriented with uh, iced coffees because I know that's what is super trendy and a lot of women are, you know, going for iced coffees. And maybe to the guys, I am going to start recommending something like um, hot coffees because I know that the male demographic is preferring a hot coffee. So you can build different ad creatives. Now, this usually does not require a lot of effort if you're doing this at a very surface level. However, if you go into the nitty gritty of it, you will definitely have a lot of different variations you can build. So I, as a beginner, I recommend you should stay away from building different ad creatives. It can be a bit difficult, but you can do that as well. You can also use your ad as a special ad category. So if it's regarding finances, social issues, you can do that. But for us, it's not. We're just going to proceed. Then you have your audience. You have the suggested audience where it will uh, take the recommended audience that it thinks would be the best for your business, which is location, United States, interest, coffee, food and drink, ages 18 and 65. Now, I might want to alter this. Let's click on edit. And let's say I want to target people between the ages of 25 and 30. Maybe that, you know, is the vibe or that is my target market. That's the kind of coffee brews that I'm making. It's to target that particular audience. Then if I have my location within a certain state, let's say I am in Ohio. So I'm only going to be looking to target people that are present within Ohio. You can even go a bit further and just drop your audience pick to a very you know niche level. So you can do that. And then after that, you're just going to click on save audience. Now, once you have done that, you have the schedule and duration. So when you want to start this advertisement campaign for your business, and then how long you want to run this. Now, I might want to run this till the 29th, and that would be 13 days. And then we have the daily budget. You can choose your budget accordingly to what you want to pay. And then you have the placements, whether you want this to be on Facebook, Instagram, and Messenger. Let's say I only want this to be on Facebook and Instagram. I don't want this in Messenger because I know that the frequency of people using Messenger is a lot less. So I only want this on Facebook and Instagram. And then after that, you can enter your payment method and get started with advertising your business on Facebook. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with advertisement on Facebook. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.